Manuela and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making my husband's very favorite, which are vegan onion rings. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if you heard him in the background, but he just cheered a bit. If you like onion rings and you're excited for this recipe as well, please make sure to give me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and Turn on that bell notification so you can get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. So, let's get to it! So first, I went ahead and I sliced some yellow onions. I sliced them into about half an inch thick. And I just wanted to have this ready so I can just go ahead and dip them into my butter and just get it going. For my butter, I am going to add half a cup of whole wheat pastry flour. It's kind of stuck there. And then I'm going to add three quarter cup of water. And then you're just going to grab a fork and you're just going to mix it all up and there's no more clumps left. For our breading, I'm going to use one cup of panko breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, and then you're just going to top it with some salt. Now you're just going to mix it all up. Just so you know, if you're going to be doing two onions, you're going to need two of these batches. But if you do one onion, then one of these batches should be fine. As you're dipping the onions with the butter, this is going to start cramping up a bit. So if it gets to a point that it becomes really hard to work with, then just dump out the rest of the breadcrumbs and just redo the batch. In order to minimize how much I waste of this, because it is going to become moist and it is going to become hard to work with. I like to pour around half of this into a flat plate and I just start working from here. Eventually when this clumps up, I dump the rest out and then I add the remaining breadcrumbs, but it just helps me a lot to minimize my waste because if I try to put it all in here, probably halfway through this batch, I'm gonna have to dump it out. So let me show you. I'm going to dip my onion ring into the batter. I'm just going to coat it really well and then I'm going to put it over my breading. And then I have a separate fork just to try to minimize the moist. And I'm just going to put the breading all over it. Then you're just going to shake it up and just put it in your baking sheet. I am going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So I have my husband Brian here. He is the official taste tester as always. And like I said earlier today, these are his favorites. So I pulled them out of the oven. I tried to make them somewhat presentable over here. <laughs> um, not gonna lie, they are a lot of work, but it's so worth it. So worth it. Yeah. So I worth know. it. <laughs> You're not the one You're doing just, the work. You're just tempting me here, like it's right in front of my face. Actually, wait, 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 hold up. Actually, his job is to cut the onions because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to mess up my makeup. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who sheds the tears as I cut them. Oh. Okay, are you ready to taste them? Oh yeah, I've been ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and we're dipping them in ketchup. Yeah. They're so good. I know. You're probably going to eat like this whole thing, huh? I know. I could. I'm trying That's to steal one while I can. <laughs> I love when you make them. Look, I got an onion eye. I got some ketchup on my eye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mm. This is a gentle little. Mm. You did good. Thank you, baby. Mmm, thank you for my onion rings. You're welcome. Mm. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to give me a like. And if you haven't already, 
don't forget to subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time